So one of my favorite things about Go High Level is its workflow process, the automation. In some other programs, it started to get really complicated and quite silly for people who aren't experienced at this, but this still keeps the basics while having like enough, fan enough advanced features to make it really powerful. So look, while I'm in it here, if I just go to uh, create new workflow, and we've got some recipes here, like the um, appointment confirmation reminder is great to use that one when you've uh, got your calendar set up. I'm going to go to start from scratch just here and link it in. And in here, this add workflow trigger up here, you've got loads in which you can select from. Like the inbound webhook, if you select it, it gives you the webhook that you can place on third-party software to bring that information in so you don't have to use Zapier anymore. Um, which is brilliant. I'm just going to delete that there and go back to here. Um, you've got your appointment status, you know, when people book in calendars, uh, birthday reminders, if you've got an e-commerce store and you've got their birthday information and you want to send out um, like kind of offers and top tips. Um, if you the contact gets changed, if you add a tag, um, if you add a no task reminders, uh, if the customer's replied into a conversation, so say you send that marketing email and they reply to that marketing email, then you can have a drip sequence go out um, saying thank you for replying and here's more information, blah, 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 whatever you want it to be. Form submitted, so if you're using forms and you've got the forms on your website and someone fills in a form, you can automatically send that information, that download in which you promised them, uh, and then follow up with um, a series of information as well. Uh, you can have an email, a text message um, in order to do that. Um, you got uh, trigger links. So if you've got triggers in your email, so if you send out an email, say, hey, click here to receive your download, takes them to the download, you know they've got it. Then you can also use that trigger link as well in order to send them a sequence of emails or text messages. Um, you got Facebook lead forms, you got uh, membership sign up. So if someone signs up to a course in which you've created, you can send them a whole load of information. Um, opportunity has changed. Um, if they, someone goes stale in your opportunities, i.e. they haven't you haven't spoken to them or they haven't messaged in for like, I don't know, a week or a month or something like that, you can send them um, information just there. You also got TikTok form at the bottom. Um, the one I'm just going to show you here is the opportunity uh, status changed. So when I press this here and if I go to add filters, um, I want it in my pipeline just here, which is going to be the uh, inquiry pipeline. And then in here, um, my pipeline stage. It's anyone that has moved to new leads. So as soon as a new lead comes in. So what I would do here is as soon as someone um, submits a form, they kind of go into the new lead and that's one trigger, one um, workflow that I want, but I want this one to be a separate workflow. So anyone that goes in there gets this. So I'm just gonna save the trigger. So you give it um, a status and so move to one, uh, sorry, move to open. So even if it is open and it comes in, you can just class it as staying as open by saying move to um, and just place that there. And then what I always do is I always add in a wait. Um, and then, so that could be 10 minutes, wait 10 minutes. And the reason I do this is just in case someone's accidentally gone into there for some reason, I put them in there or something, moved them across. So that just gives me 10 minutes in which to delete them before they start getting um, an email. So send email just here. So from could be uh, market robotic support and then from Chris Edwards. Um, and then just here, the subject line is um, uh, thank you for uh, thank you for speaking to me hey. or thank you for um, uh, requesting download whatever it might be and hot leads is just an example you might have this called something else and then it's hi custom values contact uh, first name um, thank you for requesting the download i have added that to this email as an attachment because just there you can add an attachment as well um there if you have any questions please message me back that's back just there thanks and then here, 
I can put my name or I can put user and first name. Then that just means whoever it is uh, this person is assigned to um, will uh, what it will be from that person. And then just here to make sure everyone's got it. If I go to um, account and name, then it's just going to give the location name that I used to set up the account. And I can add a more information as well. I can even add images on here as well by using this button just here. If I want to add it into the footer, um, an image um, just there. And then once that's there, I can use this button at the top to send a test uh, or everything's fine. I can just press save action. It's just called email. So I'm just going to go back in and just give it an action name. Uh, thank you, email and download attached, just so I know. There. And then what I can do is I can wait for two days. And then I can send out another um, email. Or what I can do is if I go to down here, I can add a what else. And just here, if I select, and then I can give it, I can select it based on a load of things based on that person um, just there. So there's loads in which you can uh, choose from um, to uh, to decide which one um, you, uh, you want um, to use. And what that will happen is if I just use this as, a, as an example, just as a tag just here. So maybe they are tagged includes uh add new tag so includes um new let's just say there and save there so once it's in the email now if they've got a new tag because they're a new customer then they'll come into here if they haven't they go into there or maybe that's existing i change that to existing actually so in there uh customer existing customer just there add new tag so they got tag. So they're an existing customer just there. Condition is set to existing customer. There. So um, if they're an existing customer and they got that tag, then they'll come down here and then they can receive a email uh, based on that just there. So I'm just going to add an email. customer brilliant and then just down here um hi custom value contact first name just there and then whatever i want it to be and there and then i can do exactly the same um for none so if they are not an existing customer then i can do that and i can feed them down the set pipeline and then i can save this just here now remember the opportunity we got at the top here is uh opportunity status has changed if i just go into it it says to new leads i'm just going to save this just here and show you what i mean so if i go back to uh into my opportunities and inquiry pipeline so whenever someone comes into here then that auto automatically means that they are um, they get that email sequence. Again, how do they come in here? Many different things. I can a class set up a workflow that says when they come in as a conversation, so a Facebook lead, a Instagram lead, Google My Business lead, um, they replied something or um, uh, or they submit a form uh, on my website that's linked to uh, Go High Level. Then they automatically. Um, come into here and then they will automatically go into new leads and then um, they will start receiving that sequence of emails. Again, that's just an example. You don't have to have all those. You can just have people that come in via Facebook maybe. Um, that's not already in the system. So you can set that. So when a contact is new, then they will um, go into new leads. If a contact already exists, then they won't. There's so many different combinations um, that you can do with this um, to make it work exactly how you want to. So that is a bit of information about how you'd go about uh, doing workflows, many different options um, that you can use. Tags is quite a common one for when you get started. Um, so you set them as a tag coming in and then as soon as they're in the system, you give them that tag and knowing that they're gonna go into that workflow sequence, but have a play around and see what you wanna do. I said, it's phenomenal. Um, this what it can do uh, and how 
um, much uh, and how many different ways you can uh, create uh, workflow sequences. So maybe plan it out before um, you give it a go. Um, but again, go high level, high level, brilliant at doing this.